Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Jennifer Bowman with Olympia Piano and in this short tutorial we are going to take this blue dozen a day book, the preparatory book, and go through chapter three or group three. So starting with number one, deep breathing. In this exercise we're accomplishing a couple of things. Slow wrist motion, so we're getting used to a slow attack and incorporating flow in longer notes. And then we're also incorporating the one and five seven harmony. So we're gonna do both of those things, starting with the right hand. With roll-ups, we want a nice bridge. This is gonna be played more on the whole finger pad versus playing it on the tips. So I like to get my position set by starting my wrist underneath and then finding the grip point as I roll my wrists up. So here we go. you to see the slow wrist roll up for the deep breathings in this one. So we've got roll up, reset, two, three, four, then together. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Exercise two, rolling. This is preparing us for the cross under in a scale. So what we're getting used to, you see we've got do, re, mi, fa, and fa is played with the thumb. We're not going to play with the fourth finger here. So the do is going to play here, re is going to play here, mi is going to play here, fa is going to play here with the thumb. So think about that as you roll your thumb under. It's just going under the tunnel like this. Here it is one more time. call it sometimes going under the tunnel. You'll see that in the side view. Try this once with your solfege syllables and I would encourage you to write them in the music so you can also practice transposing this to other keys. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la, so, la, ti. Do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. Switch hands. Exercise two, rolling, we're practicing for the crossover in the scale. The thumb's going to play here and here on this portion of the key. So we need a really nice bridge for this so the thumb has space. If our bridges collapse like this, the thumb has no space to come under. So we have to have a nice space for the thumb. And just to show you, I do not want you to play this with your fourth and fifth finger up in the air like this, but I want you to just see the thumb coming under the tunnel. So now fourth and fifth are just going to rest there. The thumb's going to play the finger that four is resting on. Same thing with the left. You can see it from the other angle here. See the nice tunnel. Exercise three, cartwheels. This is a fun one. We've done this a little bit with the crossovers in previous chapters, but now we have these three notes joined together and that changes our rhythm a little bit. They're called triplet eighth notes. So each of them is gonna equal one beat, but everything else is gonna be the same. We have do, mi, so, do, mi, so, crossing to high C. Remember we're crossing at kind of an angle, not straight like this, and then back to low C. So the rhythm is the main thing in this one. The way you're gonna count those triplets are instead of one and or tiki, we're gonna count one and a. Here we go. One and a, two and a, three and a, four. Get down, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one. You'll notice when I'm counting, 
I'm keeping the same subdivision so we know exactly how many of these triplets would fit into this half note. Exercise four, skipping. This is for two note slurs, which are found all the time in music. So that little line joining the first C to the first E, that is called a slur. And what that means is we're gonna play it smoothly to the E and then we're gonna lift up. In my score, you'll see this, I've got these little arrows down, up, down, up. So that's the motion we're gonna be doing for this. The notes, we are familiar with the notes, do, me, and so. So we're gonna get this motion down during this exercise. So it's gonna be down, up, exercise for skipping. I want you to see the down up motion. When you go up, you are not pressing up, you're just lifting up. So you're going to do down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Don't play the key down, just lift through it this way. Here's the left hand. Lift. Jumping rope number five, this is one of my favorites. It's called slow and red pepper. I think in jump rope, if the rope goes twice around, that is called red pepper. So that's where that came from. So in this one, a couple different things. We've got the first line is the slow version. So those are all quarter notes. Second line is eighth notes. So two eighth notes and a quarter note. Other thing is line one, we've got do with the left hand, me and so. We don't have three five fingering this time. We're putting our thumb on me our third finger on so that's going to feel a little different but it will allow our hands not to be all crowded together so here we go remember those little dots mean you're going to play the notes short they're called staccato notes here we go and two and three and four and keep a nice bridge to your hands switch 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 and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and here's exercise five jumping rope what i want you to see in this one is the quick snappy wrist especially for the second line so i'm going to play the whole exercise for this one so remember, get set. Do, me, so. so we have one and two and three. Quarter notes. Feel those subdivisions. Exercise six, rocking. We're rocking our hands back and forth between me and so in the right hand and so and do in the left hand. So just feeling that back and forth shape of the wrist. It's going to look like this. Me, so, me, so. opening the door with my right hand this way I'm opening the door left hand this way let's try that one more time nice and smooth here we go same thing with the left hand except going to fourth finger always flow between the hands side view what I'd like you to see is the hand shifting to the right and to the left with 
this one. So here we go. Here is exercise seven, round and round in the swing. You'll see these notes are bracketed together. We've got three notes. Those are bracketed triplet quarter notes, a little bit slower. We've got a fermata on the whole note there, which is that half circle with a little dot in there. That means to hold that note extra long. And then coming where it says unwinding, then it's gonna be fast. So I like to give each of the quarter notes, the winding portion, a nice pulse. Each note's gonna get a pulse. And in the unwinding, we're gonna roll our wrists around, but get a nice bridge position. Here we go. So we're gonna pulse, pulse, rest, bounce, 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 bounce. One, two, three, Four, then coming down, wrist circles. Two, three, four. Number eight, jump the river. In this one, the right hand is the river. Do, me, so, chord. So we're gonna have a nice firm hand position for that. And the left hand is the person jumping over the river from low C to high C. See if you can find the similarities in how the low C and high C look on the staff. They're both on spaces. The bass clef is the second line from the bottom. The treble is the second line from the top. So they look similar. So we're getting used to what all the C's look like. Then we go down to a super low C, which you may not see in the video at the end. Here we go. Here's the river. Good rhythm with this one. Exercise nine, we're going to have a full scale in both hands, crossing over with three in the left hand, crossing under three in the right hand. Remember when you cross over, just cross over where your finger would naturally lie on the key. So third finger, see where the third finger is? The third finger is going to cross over to that portion. And then when the thumb crosses under, the thumb's just going to cross, if the thumb's here, it's going to cross to that portion of that key. Here we go. And bounce on the quarter notes, roll up on the half notes or whole notes. Here we go. Roll. Exercise 10, ping pong going back and forth between the hands. Five, three, one, it's gonna feel the same, looks different. So left hand's gonna have do, mi, so, and right hand's gonna have so, mi, do. Those little threes mean that all three of those notes go in a beat, it's called a triplet. So the counting is gonna be one and a, two and a. So when we have those half notes, we have to make sure we keep that same counting. We're not gonna go one and a, two and a, three, four, because the three and four would tend to go too fast. So keep the subdivision during the longer notes. Here we go. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four, switch hands. that one more time I want you to notice a couple of things when I get to my thumb I'm not holding on so it's not gonna go I'm gonna get off I'm gonna roll towards my other hand lifting off my thumbs one and uh, two switch hands just gently Exercise 10 ping pong. I just want you to see the quick lifting of the thumb. So you're not going to hold the thumb on that G or that C. You're just going to lift off. So one, two. 
Exercise 11, sitting up and lying down. This is a great one to practice in multiple keys, including minor finger patterns as well. So we've got just our major finger pattern. Do, re, do, re, so, and that's all it is with some faster notes and some roll-ups. I like to get louder as I go up, softer as I get down. Here we go. Do, re, do, re, so, oh, so, fa, mi, re, do, oh, get down. Exercise 12, fit as a fiddle and ready to go. Again, we've got our harmonies in this one, a one harmony, one harmony, five, seven harmony, one. Some eighth notes in this, keeping your hands nice and focused for this one. Also, make sure you've got a nice bridge. This will be played more on the tips. Here we go. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on the Dozen a Day Blue Book. We covered group three. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique and piano literature. Thanks again for watching.